April 8th now less than two weeks away and even though we've been anticipating this moment for months and even years for some totality is going to be very, very fleeting. So this week we are going to talk about how long totality lasts both here at home in the 419 and also across the Buckeye State and across the nation and who is going to see this once in a lifetime spectacle for the longest period of time. We're going to break down how long totality lasts both here in Ohio and also across the country and even internationally. So here's a look at the big difference between 2024 and the last major total solar eclipse in 2017. Let's dig into the numbers here talking about how long totality lasts for. Now the longest amount of totality this time around is going to be an incredible four minutes and 28 seconds. In 2017, it was just barely half that. The longest amount of time was two minutes and 42 seconds in portions of southern Illinois. That disparity, that difference there is one of the reasons 2020 is going to be such an amazing spectacle to see is simply the duration. It's going to last longer and viewers and tourists will be able to see that totality for a longer duration of time. Now the path of 2024's total solar eclipse stretches all the way down from Texas, including big cities like Dallas, up through the Ohio River Valley and the Great Lakes region, and much of the Midwest is going to enjoy the total solar eclipse. Approximately 31 million Americans are in this path, and you can see which states are going to be impacted the most. Of course, Texas, such a populous state, has almost 13 million folks in the path of totality, and more will visit and travel from out of state, with tourism expected to bring a boom for local economies. Across the Buckeye State, a little over 7 million in the path. In Indiana, close to 4 million, not quite as many in Illinois, and a much fewer amount in some of those southern states. 31 million Americans are in the path of the 2024 total solar eclipse and approximately 45 million. When you factor in Mexico and Canada, that number really goes to show just how widespread the path of the total solar eclipse is. This go around, it's a wider path than it was in 2017. And not only is the path wider, but it encompasses more major metropolitan areas. We're going to be talking about some of those big cities and how long they will enjoy the totality for. Many more millions will travel to be in that path of the eclipse. Of course, folks who are in neighboring states like Michigan are going to come down to Ohio to witness this amazing spectacle. Now, if you're not already familiar with the path of totality, here's a quick definition to explain just what we mean by totality. Now, totality is when the sun is fully obscured by the shadow of the moon. That shadow is known as the umbra. Essentially, the path of totality reflects the moon's shadow passing across the United States, in this case going from Texas all the way up towards Maine. Typically, that path is around 100 miles or so wide, so it is very narrow, and it makes it such a rarity when you do find yourself in the path. Now, we have all this information online on WTOL.com slash solar eclipse, so if you don't catch it here, you can check online to see how long your city is going to be in totality. Of course, the Toledo Metro, not going to necessarily be in the best viewing location, but that one minute and 51 seconds will be something you will never forget. Now, many folks are going to travel south and southeast as some of those locations have a longer duration in totality. In fact, even some of those suburbs to the south of the river like Perrysburg are going to be seeing totality for two minutes and 13 seconds. And of course, totality is the only time that it is safe to take off those ISO certified eclipse glasses when the sun is fully obscured down towards BG closer to three minutes of totality in Wood County where there is going to be a little bit longer. So who is going to see the longest amount of eclipse viewing here in the 419 and across Northwest Ohio? We've been talking a lot about Forest, Ohio, a small town that is really going to be put on the map as a result of this eclipse and Forest is expected to see a boom to local tourism and the economy. Kenton seeing it for about three minutes and 55 seconds. Bloomville, Upper Sandusky and Norwalk also have a significant amount of time in totality. The city of Tiffin in Seneca County close to four minutes. Also Wakeman, New Regal, Van Lu and Willard are all going to enjoy that totality for close to four minutes. Now there are some American cities and also some internationally that will be in that exclusive. We'll call it the four minute club who is going to see the total solar eclipse for four minutes, if not a little bit longer. Now, as I mentioned, this total solar eclipse is going to provide some folks with the opportunity to see totality for close to four and a half minutes. Here are some of the top cities. Eagle Pass, Texas, 
four minutes and 23 seconds. A couple other Texas cities are going to be over four minutes. Carbondale, Illinois was also in the sweet spot for the 2017 total solar eclipse, and they are really going to strike twice here with another beautiful view. I'm um, looking at Missouri seeing over four minutes. Areas in Mexico, though, are actually going to have some amazing viewing opportunities, not only due to that duration that they will see the eclipse for. You'll notice anywhere from four minutes and 27 down to four minutes and 15 seconds, but also Mexico has a good likelihood of seeing sunshine. In other words, the climatology is in their favor for seeing that sunshine. Of course, when the 10 day forecast does get within range of that total solar eclipse, you can trust us, the WTOL 11 weather team for that April 8th forecast. Now across the Buckeye State, this is going to be an amazing tourist opportunity with a number of cities in the path of totality. Toledo going to see it for a little over a minute and 50 seconds. Now some of our neighboring cities actually have a longer duration in totality, including Cleveland, as well as other cities like Dayton and Buffalo across the region. Cleveland is going to see totality for three minutes and 50 seconds. In other words, in Cleveland, Ohio, it's going to last for over twice as long as the eclipse will last in Toledo. Here's a look at some cities across the Buckeye State and how long totality will encompass. Now Toledo being in far northwest Ohio isn't going to see the eclipse for quite as long, but it is still going to be 100% obscured. So in other words, regardless of how long totality lasts, it is still going to be the same amazing spectacle of full darkness during the middle of the afternoon. Wapakoneta going to get close to four minutes, Dayton close to three minutes, and Cleveland also close to four minutes of totality. Here is another list of some cities across the country. Of course, we'll have all this information online, and the Climate Friday newsletter is always a good resource. You can head to WTOL.com slash email to subscribe, and all this information will be online. We have the start time of totality, the maximum eclipse, and also the end time of totality, and that's really important for spectators because they know when to put Put those glasses back on once it becomes once again a partial eclipse. Of course, during the partial eclipse, you need to have those safe viewing glasses on. Here's a look at some cities across the country. Erie, Pennsylvania, another neighboring city that is not too far away that's going to be seeing a good deal of time in darkness. Cleveland, Ohio, we mentioned that. Burlington, Vermont, we're talking about cities from Texas all the way up towards New England, and that really goes to show the scope of this amazing event. Now here's a path of some of those most populous cities all the way from Canada back towards the Midwest and down into Mexico. These cities that I've put on this map are the cities with the highest populations. Therefore, they have a lot of spectators and a lot of people will be traveling to those cities as well. You can see which cities are in the sweet spot here. It's amazing. Even within Texas, Dallas seeing close to four minutes, Austin, only a little bit shy of two minutes. So even within Texas, there is still a good amount of variability in how long this spectacle will last. Down in Mexico, some of those cities seeing over four minutes. And here across the Great Lakes region, Indianapolis, close to four minutes of totality. Indy is going to be a hot spot for eclipse viewing, not only due to the duration, but also due to the climatology. Indianapolis tends to see a little more sunshine in early April, and it's also a little warmer than it is in Toledo. Looking up towards cities like Hamilton and Montreal, some of these Canadian cities not going to be seeing quite as much, but Montreal is incredibly populous and therefore even with a shorter period of totality, a lot of Canadian um, stargazers are going to be traveling to Montreal and Hamilton as well to witness this amazing spectacle. So we've talked about Toledo one minute and 51 seconds of totality. Now the 10 day forecast is getting close within range. We're going to update you as it draws closer based on the latest trends and what viewing conditions it may bring. Of course, the Climate Friday newsletter is always a great resource. You can follow along on social media and subscribe at WTOL.com email for the latest information as the total solar eclipse draws closer.